I have been absolutely fascinated by the transfer portal, and over the last few years, programs have picked up plenty of game-changing players who went on to have successful seasons or careers with the team and then made it onto the NFL. The portal was absolutely loaded going into 2024, and a couple days ago I did a video talking about the top 10 players overall in the portal. Today, I want to go a little bit deeper, as we're now going to talk about the top 10 wide receivers. I think this year's class is loaded with a ton of talent, and we're going to be using the 24-7 Sports ranking. 24-7 Sports also lists tight ends in this department, so there'll be a couple of those guys on the list as well. We're going to go through who the top 10 players are, where they're headed, and the impact they could have on their teams going into 2024. But before we get started, if you're a big fan of college football, be sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like if you to support today's video, and let me know what player, team, topic, or situation I could cover next. Now let's get started and talk about the top 10 wide receivers in the 2024 transfer portal. So at number 10 in the 2024 portal, we first have to talk about Dion Burks. He is currently listed as a four-star transfer, and Burks is definitely an interesting case. After Purdue produced Rondale Moore, David Bell, and Charlie Jones, this past season, Burks became the next one in line. Coming out of Belleville High School in Michigan, he was listed as a three-star recruit by pretty much every site. As a junior, he blew up at 35 catches for 800 yards and 12 touchdowns, and became both a track and football star, and won a ton of game. As according to 24-7 Sports, Burks was a three-star recruit, the number 120 wide receiver, and the 808th best player in the class of 2021. Burks would arrive in 2021 at Purdue and would get a chance to make one catch in their great breakout season. In 2022, Burks would get a little bit better as he caught 15 passes for 149 yards. With Charlie Jones off to the NFL, he was now the main guy in 2023. With Hudson Card at the quarterback position, Burks ended up catching 47 passes for 629 yards and seven total touchdowns. He had a couple of big games, including a monster game against Fresno State, in which he had four catches for 152 yards and two touchdowns. He decided to enter the transfer portal and would quickly sign with Oklahoma over Texas. Burks will likely be the number one or two option for the Sooners team this year, and he will have Jackson Arnold throwing in the ball. Burks is seen as a speedster, and after one good season in Norman, should head off to the NFL. At number nine in the portal, we have wide receiver CJ Daniels. He ended up coming from Liberty, and he will look to fill a massive void that'll be left by Brian Thomas Jr. and Malik Neighbors. Going back in time though, Daniels was not really that big of a deal. He ended up going to Parkview High School in Georgia, and was only listed as a two-star recruit according to 24-7 Sports. He didn't really have a ton of offers, and was definitely someone who went under the radar. This though didn't make sense. As a senior, he caught 93 passes for 1,400 yards and 15 touchdowns, and was also a basketball and track and field star. Daniels would arrive at Liberty in 2020, and had four solid years there. He caught 11 passes for three touchdowns as a freshman, had 37 catches for 629 yards and seven touchdowns as a sophomore, and then was limited in 2022 due to injury. But he wouldn't give up, as with Caden Salter as his quarterback in 2023, catching 55 passes for 1,067 yards and 10 touchdowns. Daniels quickly entered the portal, and now will head over to LSU, where he could be the number one target. If he has a good season, he'll likely be off to the NFL right away. The next guy on our list is Noah Rogers. He's the number eight wide out in the portal, and he comes from Ohio State. He's another one of those Brian Hartline recruits, and going back in time, Rogers was a huge deal. He ended up going to Rollsville High School in North Carolina, I hope I said that right, and became a top 60 player in the class of 2023. He was listed as the number eight wide receiver and the 53rd overall player. This would come after a fantastic high school career in which he finished with over 3,200 receiving yards. He's also seen as an insane athlete and Rodgers decided to go to Ohio State. This past season, he'd be stuck behind a log jam of wide receivers and honestly never got a chance to get on the field. He decided to enter the transfer portal after this past season and then would decide to transfer to NC State. Rodgers will join an NC State team that's hoping to win an ACC title, and he'll have Grayson McCall throwing him the football. This seems like a really good get for the Wolfpack, and Rodgers should have a pretty good career going back close to home. Number seven on the list, we have our first tight end, and that is Holden Stays. He ended up coming from Notre Dame, and Stays has been a pretty big player for a long time now. Holden ended up going to the Westminster School in Atlanta, Georgia, and blossomed into one of the best tight end recruits in the country. He ended up holding 26 Division I offers and would eventually decide to sign with Notre Dame. He was listed as a four-star recruit, the number 11 tight end, and the 288th best player in the class of 2022. He was hoping to be the next guy up at Notre Dame, but only caught one pass as a freshman in 2022. 
this past season as a backup tight end, Stays would end up catching 15 passes for 176 yards and four touchdowns. Despite having a good year, he was going to be the backup once again and decided to enter the portal and has since transferred to Tennessee. He'll join Brew McCoy to try to make one of the best receiving duos in the SEC, and Stays could be a future NFL draft pick if he has a big season. At number six in the portal, we have to talk about Colby Young. This guy has a pretty crazy story, as at one point, he pretty much had no offers coming out of high school. Despite being six foot five, Young would have to go to Lackawanna College, which is a JUCO, and while there, he caught 24 passes for 472 yards and nine touchdowns. Despite big numbers, he was not even listed as a top 50 JUCO player, but would decide to go to Miami over Florida State, Tennessee, Penn State, and Pitt. The past two years at the Hurricanes have gone according to plan for him. He caught 32 passes for 376 yards and five touchdowns in 2022, and then this past year in 2023, caught 47 passes for 563 yards and five scores. He's been getting better each and every season, and after entering the portal, he will now go to Georgia. Carson Beck is looking to win a national championship and get a Heisman Trophy along the way. I expect him to be top three in target, alongside Dominic Lovett and probably Oscar Delp. Young's a guy who I think is going to have a big year and break out into a household name in the SEC. At number five, we have our second tight end prospect on the list, and that is Amari Nye Black. After coming out of Lakewood High School in Clearwater, Florida, Nye Black was always going to be a big-time recruit. He ended up being an All-American and was at one point even listed as a five-star player. As a senior, he caught 60 passes for 939 yards and 10 touchdowns and was also a superstar in basketball. According to 24-7 Sports, Nye Black was the number four athlete, a four-star player, and the 99th best player in the class of 2022. Nye Black would arrive at Alabama with a decent amount of hype, but would only catch one pass, which did end up being a touchdown. In 2023, he had more of a breakout role, catching 20 passes for 327 yards and four total touchdowns. With Nick Saban deciding to retire, Nye Black decided to move on and would put his name into the transfer portal. He decided to choose Steve Sarkeesian in Texas, and he'll get a chance to be a big-time weapon in that system right away. He'll replace their tight end, Jertavian Sanders, who went to the NFL, and he'll likely become a top three target alongside his former teammate, Isaiah Bond, and Houston transfer, Matthew Golden. Texas is loading up for another college football playoff appearance, and in their first year in the SEC, having a guy like Nye Black will definitely help. At number four on the portal, we have to talk about Antoine Wells Jr. But Wells is definitely a special talent. Coming out of Highland Springs High School in Virginia, Antoine Wells really didn't even have a recruiting profile. He was listed as a zero-star recruit, and Wells had pretty much no future in college football, but he did enough to get some attention. After catching 36 passes for 880 yards and 12 touchdowns as a senior, James Madison would offer him a scholarship. Wells would take that opportunity and run for it, as in 2020, he caught 33 passes for 600 yards and 6 touchdowns. It was a great season for him, and in 2021, he'd become one of the best receivers in the FCS. He ended up catching 83 passes for 1,300 yards and 15 scores, and now he was going to have the ability to transfer up to the high major level. He'd end up signing with South Carolina, where in his first year as a starter, he caught 68 passes for 928 yards and 6 touchdowns. This past season with Spencer Rattler at quarterback, he was supposed to be the number one target and then go off to the NFL. Unfortunately, he would suffer a foot injury that would require surgery and was only limited to three games before he decided to call it quits. Xavier Leggett stepped up in his place, but Wells would have been the number one option at Carolina this year. Except, he decided to enter the portal, where he will now get to play with Jackson Dart at Ole Miss. He'll likely be the number one option in that offense, and I think Wells will have an explosive year and probably end up being a first-round pick when it's all said and done. Number three, we probably have my favorite receiver in the portal, and that is London Humphreys. He absolutely has the look to be a big-time star, but going back a few years, London Humphreys really was not supposed to do much. He ended up going to CPA High School in Nashville, Tennessee, and Humphreys was listed as a top 500 recruit. He ended up being both a football and baseball star, and he would post over 1,000 yards receiving in his final two years of high school. He also set the regional record in the 200-meter dash, which was actually previously held by Jalen Ramsey. The guy was an absolute athlete, but sadly, he was heading over to Vanderbilt. Luckily though, in his first year, Humphreys would break out. He ended up catching 22 passes for 439 yards and four total touchdowns. Humphreys was named to the SEC All-Freshman team, and based on his speed and his potential he showed in year one, he became the number three receiver in the portal. He decided to transfer over to Georgia, where I think he'll settle in as that fourth option behind Colby Young, Oscar Delp, 
and Dominic love it. London has a great story and may honestly get his own video here soon. And number two, we have another huge name, and that is Evan Stewart. At one point, he was considered the top wide receiver in his class, as coming out of Liberty High School in Frisco, Texas, Stewart was an absolute monster. He was ranked as the number six player in the class of 2022 and the number one overall wideout. Stewart was completely dominant in high school, as during his junior year, he caught 46 passes for 913 yards and nine touchdowns. After becoming such a big deal, he eventually decided to commit to Texas, but then would later flip to Texas A&M. After only playing in three games during his senior year, he was still good enough to be ranked as the number six overall player in the country. As a freshman with the Aggies in 2022, Stewart caught 53 passes for 649 yards and two touchdowns. Despite the limited amount of end zone trips, Stewart was still a freshman All-American and had unlimited potential. Unfortunately, he'd have poor quarterback play in 2023, and Stewart would finish with 38 catches for 514 yards and four touchdowns. After the season was over, Stewart would decide to enter the transfer portal and became the number two wideout. He's decided to commit to Oregon, where he'll go across the country, and he says is already a much better fit. Stewart could be a first round pick if he has a big season, and I'm sure Dylan Gabriel is happy to have him. Or we have the top wide receiver in the portal, and that is Isaiah Bond. Coming out of Buford, Georgia, Bond was always one of the top wide receivers in his high school class. I'm not necessarily sure why, as according to Wikipedia, he only had 14 catches for 368 yards and three touchdowns as a senior. That must be some sort of typo, because there's no way that that's possible if he was that highly regarded as a recruit. But after flipping from Florida to Bama, Bond was listed as a four-star recruit, the number two athlete, and the 43rd best player in the class of 2022. When Bond would arrive at Alabama, he was pretty solid as a freshman. He ended up catching 17 passes for 220 yards and also secured his first touchdown catch. In 2023, Bond would break out alongside Jermaine Burton, catching 48 passes for 668 yards and four touchdowns. Bond was the first player to enter the transfer portal after Nick Saban retired and quickly found his home at Texas. The Longhorns need to replace both Xavier Worthy and A.D. Mitchell, so he should come in right away and be the number one target alongside Houston transfer Matthew Golden. Honestly, based on stats, it seems like Isaiah Bond's a little bit overrated, but maybe I'll have to eat my words on that take. So yeah, today we talked about the top 10 wide receivers in the 2024 transfer portal, and honestly, I could do this video a thousand times. I would love to even talk about the top 50 wide receivers in this year's portal, so if you want to see a part 2, 3, 4, 5, or even 6, let me know down below, and be sure to support the video with a like. Also, let me know your favorite wide receiver or favorite player in the portal. Give me a video topic I can do next. And before you go, as I said, don't forget to give the video a like, subscribe if you're new, and check out all my other videos on the end screen, including my video about the top 10 players overall in the portal. Hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.